Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Bluey, Camping. Bluey, Camping. The healers are on a camping trip. Bluey wants to build a stick house with Bingo, but Mum has other plans. Bingo's coming with me, Mum says. She hasn't had a bath in three days. So off Bluey goes to the creek, alone. As Bluey searches for sticks, she hears a voice. Bonjour. Hi, my name is Bluey. Salut, Bluey. Je suis Jean-Luc. Bluey doesn't understand what Jean-Luc is saying, but that doesn't stop them building a stick house together. Oh, c'est très beau. Now we need some food to eat, says Bluey. We can plant this seed, like farmers. This will grow into a big tree with fruit on it. But it might take a while, she adds, and we need something to eat now. Suddenly, they hear a howl coming through the forest. Hide, shouts Bluey. Snuff, snuffle, snort. It's a wild pig, Bluey says. Sanglier, says Jean-Luc. Bluey and Jean-Luc make a plan to capture the wild pig, but... He escapes. Never mind. Ha ha, he he. Bluey, dinner, Mum calls. Then Jean-Luc's dad calls to him. Jean-Luc, dinner. See you tomorrow, Bluey says. They both run off to their families. Good night. Bonne nuit. The next morning, Bluey and Jean-Luc are ready to play. Jean-Luc, bonjour. Hmm, no fruit tree yet. We need a better plan to catch that wild pig, or we'll have no food for the winter. I've got an idea, Bluey tells Jean-Luc. My dad taught me how to do this. Bluey scares Wild Pig. Wild Pig runs away. Jean-Luc jumps out. Hooray! They wait until they hear the Wild Pig roar, and then... Yarrr! It's time to head back to camp for the night. Goodbye, Jean-Luc, says Bluey happily. See you tomorrow. Non, Bluey, Jean-Luc calls. Au revoir. The next morning, Bluey discovers that the seed they planted is growing into a little tree. Jean-Luc, come quickly, Jean-Luc. But she can't see Jean-Luc anywhere, not at his campsite, Jean-Luc, or at their stick house, Jean-Luc. Louis runs back to Mum, who tells her that Jean-Luc must have left. His holiday is over. What? says Louis. You mean they're gone? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. That night, while Bingo has a bush wee, Bluey asked Mom why Jean-Luc had to leave. Sometimes special people come into our lives, stay for a bit, and then they have to go, says Mom. But that's sad, 
says Bluey. It is, said Mum. But the bit where they were here was happy, wasn't it? Yeah, we caught a wild pig together, Bluey says. Maybe that makes it all worth it, says Mum. Will I ever see him again? asks Bluey. Well, you never know, says Mum. The world's a magical place. Hello, Bluey. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.